This is Artifacts of Mars, and uh, according to this article, we have almost 150 authoritarians headed towards uh, Paris for the start of the most important environmental meeting for decades. That's utter nonsense. Out of the summit, more than 175 countries have tabled pledges known as Intended Nationally Determined Contributions, or INDCs, to cut their carbon emissions, which if enacted, will be enough to limit global warming to 2.7 C. There isn't any global warming. It's been proven, for instance, that NOAA has not even been using satellite data which says that basically Earth's climate is stable right now. It's not going up, it's not going down. These are authoritarians. What they are trying to do is take your freedom. Whatever country you're living in. They want a global dictatorship, basically. And that's what this is all about. They want a global dictatorship, whether it's communism or something else. I don't really care anymore. These people are dedicated to evil. Now let's look at a quote from Kevin Anderson, professor of energy and climate change at the University of Manchester. Why the hell do we have... Do, does the University of Manchester have... A professor of climate change. I don't understand this. I judge that the best Paris can now offer now deliver is a very slim chance of staying below 2C. And if 2C is to be anything more than a rhetorical excuse for another intentional jamboree, Paris needs to deliver rates of mitigation far beyond the unscientific and un, un, inequitable levels voluntary offered by national governments and their INDCs. In other words, he wants the uh, governments to screw the people much more than what they're saying. Van Ben Van Borden, Chief Executive Shell, would like very much to see the 2C target being adopted, but more importantly, we'd like to see an adopted the sense of a sensible set of policies on the U.S. there just because just agreeing to a target is not going to do the trick. An important element is put a price on carbon emissions that will be equitable, that will enable, if the right price is set, the development of the technologies that we're going to need if we do want to limit carbon emissions to be in line with 2C scenario. And here's another authoritarian, Christina Figueres. Figueres. The collective impact of national climate change plans is quite remarkable. Of course, doesn't mean we'll get to 2C, and that's where ultimately need to go. But it is certainly a departure from business as usual in all of these points away. So, this person is an authoritarian. That's what this is about. This is about global government. This is about taking your freedom. This is about screwing you over, basically. They want a bunch of serfs. They want to go back to the old fuel way of uh, living, I think. Probably. And it goes on and on. Indians are complaining, and here's, uh, well, the Asian Indians here. As a developing nation, we would expect the cli Paris Climate Agreement to be in accordance with the principles of common but differentiated responsibilities and equity. Developing countries should undertake larger emission cuts and provide adequate fa 
finance, and technology to help developing nations fight climate change. There isn't any. Cl I'm not going to say there isn't climate change. And climate change is a natural thing. It's going to happen whether we want it to or not. CO2. I wish I still had this little uh, drawing I did. It's not really a drawing. I might. I can uh, put that up. I can uh, redesign it. I lost it. And you gotta see this, uh, it shows how much uh, CO2 graphically we have in the, in the atmosphere compared with everything else. I think I'll get that out. We'll put this on hold. I'm not going to go through all the uh, authoritarians and dictators that we have here. Hang on. Okay, you see these four dots? Never mind the uh, distortion around them, that doesn't count. If this was your atmosphere, these four dots represent the parts per million that, uh, or if you prefer, the parts per 10,000 of CO2. That's it. It's 400 million parts. 400 parts per million CO2 this was a 100 by 100 square that I made just to illustrate this 400 parts per million or in other words 4 parts per 10,000 that's it this is what they're saying is trapping the uh, earth's heat the heat from the sun and causing the Earth to warm up catastrophically. You see how asinine this is? That's it. If this was 10,000 10, dots here, I expanded it, but there's 10,000 dots. Only four of them are CO2. The rest is between oxygen and nitrogen and a few other trace gases. This is it for the CO2, just four molecules out of 10,000, statistically speaking. This is absurd. It cannot possibly sit there and trap uh, the sun's heat catastrophically like they're saying. It can't do it. These people are just flame, flaming wires. That's all they are. I'm going to bring uh, that back up again and we'll finish up. And the all days. Uh, Benny Pizer, um, Director of Global Warming Policy Forum. I can lay this on the line. Oh, I already have. They they want a bunch of surfs. They want you and I controlled and unable to lead our lives the way we want to. They want to control everything. These are control freaks. There is no global warming. It's a bunch of BS. Like I said, uh, for like the last... Uh, 20 years or so, the temperature of the Earth has basically been flat. It's not going up, it's not going down. It's stable. I don't think we could, you know, cause it to catastrophically heat up if we wanted to. And here's the, but the kicker of this thing is that, uh, if you look at the geologic record, it's actually normal to have no uh, winter at all, hardly. In fact, I forget, it was one of the Scandinavian countries, they found a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, tropical trees. It was one of those ones up near the Ar Arctic Circle, I think it was Norway, they found a bunch of tropical trees and plants that are fossilized. So in the past, that's been really warm, and then it 
of course, cooled down when the climate got colder due to solar conditions or whatever. This is absurd. These are authoritarians and dictators. And yes, I'm including Obama. Every single damn last one of them. There's some moron in a polar bear suit. And one of the things you hear about that, well, poor polar bears, they're having to swim because there's no ice. Well, what's the truth about that? The truth is, folks, that uh, polar bears typically swim long distances in search of food. They, if that was all iced over up there all the time, they wouldn't be able to get food. It's a part of their life cycle. may not be a part of ours, but this is how they live. Part of what they do is they go and swim to another spot to find food. They are expert swimmers. It's part of their life cycle. It's how the animals live. And then they get up on a nice flow someplace and wait for a poor seal to stick its head up and they grab it. But it's part of their life cycle. These are authoritarians. They're, they want, uh, what do you say? They want a global dictatorship. They don't want you to ha you and I to have any saying anything. They don't want you and I to be able to control any aspects of our own lives. That's all this is. These are authoritarians. I can't hammer that home enough. Authoritarians and dictators, that's where their uh, minds are. This is a mega conspiracy against humanity. I am Artifacts of Mars. I stand by my comments. Thank you for watching.